Y Plan is a last minute going out app. Uh, we curate and provide our audience uh, with a short list of great events happening in London in the next 48 hours. So if you want to do something cool tonight or tomorrow, Y Plan is the place for you to go to. It's a mobile only application currently available on an iPhone and we're working on an uh, Android version as well uh, to be released you know, in the coming months. The important bit is that you don't need to print any paper tickets, you don't need to call anyone to reserve your seat. The ticket shows up in your app, you go to the venue, show them your iPhone and they let you in. We launched Y Plan in late uh, 2012, so we've been live now for just about five months in London uh, and the growth has been uh, has been rapid. Uh, we've, um, we've captured about 10% of all iPhone audience uh, in London since going live uh, and uh, that is a couple of hundred thousand users uh, or active users I should say. Why plan? We made a deliberate decision to not focus just on one vertical so not just music, not just theater, not just cinema. The, uh, the idea behind Why plan is that it inspires you to do something cool and interesting every time you come to the app. Therefore we curate uh, an eclectic mix of events if you will uh, every day so you will see a list uh, of you know anything from sports to comedy uh, to wine tasting to chess boxing you know the events that you didn't even know exist as i mentioned we've been around now for five months and um, uh, we've we managed to uh, to start working with uh, close to 500 event partners uh, just in the city of london um, and that's uh, that's most of the promoters and producers uh, and event organizers uh, you know who are, who are, who are doing events uh, in the city uh, and we were continuing to grow that, uh, that list every day uh, to keep the mix of events interesting and relevant for people. Y Plan in London has grown quickly uh, and, uh, and steadily, so we're looking to kind of uh, to piggyback on that momentum uh, and, and expand Y Plan uh, abroad. Uh, so we're, we're looking into other large cities that are densely populated, that have a lot of smartphones, where there are a lot of events happening uh, as well, uh, and those are going to be the next targets for us. Every day we uncover challenges that we didn't think uh, we will uncover. You know, Y Plan in terms of technology, it's a very novel approach to doing things. We had to reinvent the bicycle essentially in like three or four different places in the app. You know, we can start with payments, right? It's a two-click payment process, exceptionally simple, but really difficult to make happen on the on the back end. And then as you grow in scale, I think you know what we found is uh, has been the the key to our success, but also the main challenge as well that that we face every day is just finding the best people uh, to, to join the team because the team is evolving rapidly. We're about 20 people now and uh, we have another, uh, another meaningful group joining in the next, in the next couple of weeks. Um, and uh, and, and us to f you know, f for us to find the best people uh, is, is everything. There is no direct competition for Y Plan. Um, we are unique in our product, uh, we're unique in our proposition, and we're unique in our execution, uh, and those are, those are very important. Yplan is a discovery platform, it is not a ticketing application as such. We tend to have about uh, 10 to 15 events on a given day, which we handpick. Mind you, we may be running more than that, but you as a consumer may only see 10 to 15 because those are the ones that, that fit better your profile than my profile, for example. The way we, uh, we do it is we work directly with event organizers. We work directly with venues and promoters and producers, uh, and we have a full team that just does that. Um, and uh, that kind of that is a, 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 a difficult model to get going, certainly. Uh, but once you get it going, then uh, then it's uh, then it's a nice marketplace model that you that you have in your hands. Promoters, we work with producers, we work with venues, and I think what we had found with Y Plan is that people who buy on Y Plan and they come to those events, they otherwise would not have come. We survey our customers and our bookers and we find that over 90% of the bookers claim that they had no intention of going to that event before discovering it on Y Plan and completing the booking. If you're organizing an event and your event makes it to Y Plan, so it's been picked to be featured on Y Plan, there is going to be tens of thousands of people on any given day looking at that event, being exposed to it and learning about your brand and what you're doing. I'm coming from a very kind of corporate background, uh, having spent six years at, uh, in the city working at Goldman Sachs as a quant. So I know how the culture is in, in, in such a big corporates. And this is exactly what we tried to not do at Y Plan. We wanted to do very, very informal, very collegiate, very kind of easygoing atmosphere. At the same time, you know, that, that allows people to do what they do best rather than you know focusing on okay what should I dress today 
what should you know how do I behave and, and, all, and all that and to be fair uh, we that's that, those were the decisions that we that we made initially we said it's, it has to be a fun place it has to be a place where people just come and they don't need to think about anything related to politics related to you know stuff that's not immediately relevant to them doing their job extremely well you know the big speakers that you saw that's our sales team like they figured out they need the big speakers okay we got the big speakers but then i used to dj before uh, in my like three lives back um, and uh, and so i got the dj decks and so we, we we put it all together and now we have you know the front the, the full kind of turntable set and and whatnot and then the technical team for example they're crazy about nerf guns so you know we 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 have a bunch of those and we we follow the trends and we get the newest ones as well you know as soon as they're released etc in a white line, we firmly believe uh, is uh, is a billion dollar company in the making. You know, the, some of the trends we see and some of the numbers we see, you know, from our you know early growth and you know the user engagement and you know conversions and everything that we uh, you have going for us, we we see there is a big future for white line. So we want to make sure that we capitalize well on that, and that means yes, growing through more platforms. You know, iPad, Android, you know, Windows Phone will probably work uh, on on other platforms as well. And then rolling it out city by city, uh, you know, to other places. Three to five years, you know, Y plan will have become the what am I going to do tonight app globally, right? And that is really the objective. We're not aiming to become a general ticketing company. That's not the point. We are a last minute discovery and going out application. And we want to be the best at what we do globally. And that's kind of that's kind of the plan. So the next 12 to 18 months will be focused on exactly that, helping us get closer to that objective inch by inch.